Ever wondered what the fuss about AI is all about? When we strip down all the noise about AI today, it all boils down to two fundamental components, data and algorithms. Now, these two forces are not new. They've always been a part of our lives, shaping our decisions and the world around us. Consider early hunters who observed animal footprints. That's data telling them that an animal had been there. So what did they do with that data? They followed a set of steps, an algorithm. In the hunter's mind, the algorithm was simple. Search for the animal, find it, grab a spear, and secure dinner. Throughout history, data has always been everywhere, from ancient Egyptians recording the water levels to medieval monks copying books by hand, and through to the machines of the industrial era, data has played a crucial role. But then, computers and the internet came along and changed everything. Data exploded. Suddenly, data wasn't just numbers on paper anymore, but everything from your text and selfies to funny cat videos, basically the whole internet. Algorithms also evolved, becoming the secret source behind everything from Google searches to your personalized social media feeds. So what's AI got to do with all this? Well, AI takes this vast amount of data and processes it through these complex algorithms. Unlike traditional computer programs where you write all the code, AI models learn from this massive data. This learning process is called machine learning which has two main types, supervised and unsupervised. In supervised learning, data comes labeled with correct answers. For example, to teach an AI to recognize animals, we show it lots of labeled pictures of animals and it learns to identify them. In unsupervised learning, the algorithm finds patterns in the data on its own without any labels. This ability to learn from data is what makes AI so powerful. But what exactly is the goal of AI? Back in 1956, John McCarthy came up with the name artificial intelligence to describe a new field focused on creating machines that could mimic human cognitive abilities. For example, the human brain processes and transmits information using neurons. In AI, this is mirrored by deep learning, a subset of machine learning that uses multi-layered neural networks to process and understand data. Generative AI, the crown jewel of deep learning, is all around us today. It can create new content, such as text, images, videos, and more. AI-powered tools like ChatGPT can compose everything from emails to poetry. These tools can also generate new music, videos, and even websites from simple text prompts. So are you ready to see what AI can do? I've put together a list of top 10 AI tools. You can find the links in the description section. Go ahead and give them a try. But remember, none of this generative AI or AI in general would be possible without data, from ancient footprints to today's tweets, and algorithms from simple hunting strategies to complex neural networks. And who knows what incredible things AI will create in the future as we keep feeding it more data and coming up with even smarter algorithms. Let me know in the comments what you think about the future of AI. Are you excited about the future or a little bit skeptical? If you've enjoyed this video and you want more yummy videos like this, hit that subscribe button and smash that thumbs up. Till I see you next time, happy learning and happy eating. Then happy learning, happy learning and happy eating.